force rank the nonsense. If you look at this survey of what our, our responses, our policy responses have been, what's the what's the silliest of the silly? Well, this rapid rush to wind and solar. I mean, that's the silliest of the silly. I mean, you know, it, I think it makes sense to think, to look forward, you know, into the 21st century and figure out how we can, you know, improve our energy infrastructure so that we have, you know, more abundant, cheaper, cleaner energy. And let's look forward and try to get there. I um, mean, that, that's just going to help support our progress in the 21st century. Um, that's going to require research and development and learning curves and it, different localities and countries experimenting, uh, and, you know, at the by the end of the 21st century. If the market was left to, you know, take care of all this, we'd probably have a much better, cleaner um, energy infrastructure. But now that we're... <laughs> you know, tearing what we have down and replacing it with wind and solar, which is totally inadequate. I know I'm preaching to the choir here. Um, we're, we're setting ourselves up to make ourselves more vulnerable to whatever weather or climate extremes nature might throw at us. I mean, electricity helps keep us safe, <laughs> you know, with desalination plants and air conditioning and on and on it goes. Um, and it's also electricity is the source of our, you know, innovations across everything. So, I mean, what we're doing is extremely stupid. And we've got politicians in charge of all this wind and solar stuff, and nobody's talking to the engineers, you know, the people who, who design transmission lines, the grid operators, you know, they're all sort of tearing their hair out over all this wind and solar. So what we're doing is just plain stupid. And if we continue on this path, we're going to end up in a worse place at the end of the 21st century than if we had just let market forces and our desire for innovation just to take charge and move forward. So it's just it's a very bad place to be.